a jacked up little ponytail is what we got. Why are you always worried about my hair? Am I always worried about your hair? You always got something to say about my hair, Kevin. First of all, you've never sounded blacker than you did in that moment. Plus that, <laughs> you, the Asian part of you was gone. <laughs> Why are you always worried about my hair? You need to spend the same energy. Keep that same energy for your own. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Jasmine, don't do this. It's starting early. <laughs> yes, starting Jasmine. Early. Welcome, Jasmine. Yes, join. Welcome, Jasmine. Hey, Ooh. I ain't gonna hold y'all. Uh, Meg, when we go back on the road or to here, I don't know how we're gonna do this. No shot. Either. Not on Monday. I'm not gonna be. I'm, I might not be even back in LA by by uh, ten o'clock on Monday or one o'clock. Yeah, me neither. Obviously, but. <laughs> I don't know. We could either we, we can't do it on Tuesdays because you got your film on Tuesdays. We could try to see if Wednesdays is available, but Wednesday might be our our monthly day to shoot. So we'll figure we either we could do it later. I mean, it's just an hour, so we can knock it out an hour. All right, forty five to an hour. We can figure out some time to do that. I'm just glad to be here, man. I'm here. How you man. feeling anyway? The herpes cleared up. It did, man. No more bumps. Uh, <laughs> crazy one breakout. Yeah, it was yeah, it was a crazy breakout. Uh it actually <laughs> happened on my ears. So it was weird. You know? it was weird. What do you gotta do? Just rub a moxicillin on you like body butter? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just yeah. had to, I just had to take some actual like unsalted butter and just drop it in my ear. I had to heat it up first. It's unsalted like, butter. God. That sounds about right. Yeah. You know that had nothing to do with no uh herbs. No, nah, that all. That was just me. That was the only way I could eat. So nah, I use just so when you lay down, you could rub it on a pillow and lick the pillow after. Yeah. <laughs> that's true, man. It wakes up just like chunky. Oh yeah, that's great, Josh. Keep it going. Man, shut up. Your head looks ridiculous. Josh, you'll never be tall. <laughs> yeah, we're like the same height. Nah. Right. Nah, if, I'm, if I'm sitting down, Josh, come on, cut it out, man. You're not pulling anybody in this room to hear. Why are you not. drinking Peter like like it's Gatorade? Yeah, <laughs> had a whole night of sleep. He's got he's got the thing, Kev. One time I had a little bit too much to drink. Um, I took an Uber to Denny's at three a.m. and in my voice, uh, Kieran used to be like, "Drink Peter Light, drink Peter Light." So I walked across the street to to Seven Eleven and got some Peter Light, clear, drinking it. Go home. Wake up the next morning and there's blood all in my carpet at my front door, like footsteps of blood. And I looked because I had tripped. I forgot to tell you part. I tripped. Oh, I was going to say that's not from walking. the light. Tripped walking. Didn't feel anything, though. So I'm looking at the carpet like, dang, what, who was bloody in here? I look down. My toe is split open, blood all over the place, all dried. I had I had gone beyond my limit of capability to where I had cut my toe half open and didn't even know it bled all through my own carpet, all in the sheets and stuff, and I didn't even know. Uh, safe to say I took a break from libations after a while. For, you, for... you got now, all, of, all of that, wait, all of that was from your three wine coolers? <laughs> and a fuzzy navel. Mm -hmm. It was three wine fuzzy coolers navel. and a fuzzy navel. <laughs> fuzzy navel was just a, just a great, it was a great drink for the joke you made to hear. Have your name says Brennan Edwards. I don't know if you want to keep that. Oh, no, God. Oh, my gosh. That is atrocious. I really would like to know what Kev was drinking because I feel like it's something. I know something like light. Blue drinking effort. Mike's Harder Lemonade. <laughs> He's like, that's the one. I got Kev on a couple of GNTs when we was on the road, though. A I couple? Got, bro, we were yeah. drinking doubles like water. Oh, at yeah. one we, point. Was, we was knocking the GNTs out, man. I love. Oh, dude, my God. Was, the one good thing about. Kev was drinking GNTs? No, oh, not Kev. We were. Let me tell you something. One time, Ugh. wait, wait till wait till it gets on. One time, we had a show, and Kev's uh, mother in law came and she brought her friend, and they brought like three people too. And we like it was already a crazy show, right? So after the show, we go out to eat, and crazy Kev's show. mom, I mean, uh, <laughs> Kev's mother in law brings the friend and the like four other people. So like after our shows, the like the communal dinner is like it's like a internal thing. So we got all these people here. Kev was big frustrated, and his mom was there too. His mom was there, is there. Everybody was there. Kev was like, I saw a few. I was like, come on, man, let's go to the bar. Go to the bar. Got Kev a double of that G and T, one lime, one lemon. And then we got another. And by that second one, he was like, to here, you're my only true friend. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Mr. I love you, man. I, you I know, love I, you, Everything man. I said I about like East St. Louis was a lie. It's a great city. <laughs> Wow. Oh, I cannot. You like the taste of gin? It's so disgusting. Yo, I'm going to tell you what it is, Meg. This is what I like about gin and tonic. Shouts to Tahir. He put me <laughs> onto it. All across the world, that drink tastes exactly the same. Airplane, bar, Spain, Europe, Mexico. It always tastes. So if you're looking for something consistently to taste consistent, a mm -hmm. G&T is going to taste exactly Okay, the but same. because that's gin is all made out of, of rusted, dirty boot leather. Like, it's no, man, it's, an, a, it's a Sprite that's for not adults. even Listen, true. Man, it's, 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 not for adults. it's made out of like juniper berries. Those are disgusting. You only drink bumpy knuckle gin. That's Seagram's. Okay, you haven't had pure and a high quality gin. Okay, uh, that's number one. Number two, shut up. Okay, man, just just shut up. No, it tastes like no, because it, it tastes like that plant that be growing in the bushes in front of people's houses. Like you just take that, you just ripped it, and then you just muddled it. That's what's what your you dream. Uh, what's your drink of choice, Meg? You know, I am a sangria girl. Oh, oh no! Bless your heart. Bless your I heart, Meg. Oh, like a hardcore drink? My hardcore drink? Uh, I don't have a hardcore drink. Exactly. So. Oh, oh, um, um, uh, what is it? A mule, a Moscow mule. I'm good with that. I, I like Moscow mules. Yeah. Gee, Moscow's gee. vodka, right? Yeah. yeah. But you can do it with Kentucky anything. mules are good too. Moscow with gin, you can do it I like with Irish vodka. mules. Yeah, you can do it with anything. I like tequila in my mules. There you go. Jasmine is freaky. Ooh. That lets you know right now. The way she said it, and mm -hmm. any, any woman like over 34 that's drinking tequila regularly, she got something in her closet. Let me tell you mm -hmm. that. <laughs> she was, I like tequila in my vodka and in my men. <laughs> <laughs> then my shots, then my oh, but I got some gin yesterday. Somebody gifted me some gin yesterday, and I don't really drink gin. It was Hendrix. Oh, it, it was so good. It smelled good. It tastes good. Everything was summer it. floral. Was it in the purple bottle, the summer floral version? No, it was like the dark. It was in this dark, dark. Okay, that's the original. Bottle. One. Okay, yeah, that's the original one. Hendrix is great. It's good. Great man for the G and T. Gin to make you sin. Okay, I can't. I gotta stay away from that. I thought, I, I told this story before, but I thought gin was the same thing as like vodka. So one time at this party, vodka had ran out. And so then I was like, oh, I'll just put gin in. And I was like, oh, it's disgusting, but whatever. And then I'm, I kid you not, five minutes later, I was opening cabinets, singing in them, like <laughs> full out concerts. That Man, I'd probably get drunk and study for the like SAT. Great time. That ain't sinning. Dang, so you're yeah. messed up my throat. That's awesome. That was good. Kevin, I heard oh, it. I was wow. proud of you. I said, Man, probably get drunk. And, I'm not telling everybody yeah, else. Do it again. Do it again. <laughs> They could probably get drunk and hey, study Josh, for the what are you SAT. doing today? <laughs> <laughs> we keep trying to get the joke off. We're just going to keep stopping them every time we try to get it off. What are we saying, Kev? Shut up, man. I'm out of here. <laughs> what? <laughs> Kev, you got to go ahead, man. Nah, man. Y'all good. All right, cool, cool. They cool. probably get drunk and study for the hey, SAT. Hey, I see about going golfing later, too. <laughs> <laughs> Are great, yeah. man. I'm man. gonna tell the people, man, that I, I caught the vid, guys. The vid. Are you telling them to hear? I'm telling them, man. You caught caught the vid. That's what that's what happened last week. It wasn't intentional. It happened on my week off from zooming with the homies. I was I was like, ah, oh, man, I'm gonna relax and chill. What happens when you take a week off? <laughs> Boom, yeah, vid. filming to do and all of that. None of that. That vid was like, sit your ass down before I take your breath, and then it took it. Okay. <laughs> take your breath. So how are you feeling now, Tahir? Huh? How are you feeling now? I'm feeling way better, bro. If I wasn't feeling good, I wouldn't be here. Because I, I literally could not talk without losing my breath. Like, that's how it hit me. Like, it hit yeah. me with nausea and uh, a slight headache, but my I could not talk. Like, I was... You talking about Wait, did you have to use your inhaler, like, to help it? Or did that I, didn't I work? I have so many... Let me show y'all. Because my sister is a, a, a nurse, and she was, like, working with um, people who, when, when COVID first hit, she was in the hospitals every night. So I got this inhaler. I got this inhaler right here. I got a blue one. Um, I got this joint right here. She told me to get this. That what is that? Oxygen. Oh, oh yeah, you know, the blood. touch of oxygen in your blood. Yeah. They gave him 50 cc's of brisket every hour on the hour, but it's, man, actually, that wasn't enough. Enough. it's on a drip. That's You can't see it. It's off camera. <laughs> It's right in it. It's it's. I had to teach myself how to how to breathe again with this. I had to like this like stranger breathing. So you have to learn how to breathe again. Like 
What is that? Does it help you regulate? Yeah, it like, regulates your breathing. So it's an I, uh, IMT and a PEP, and like it, it uh, makes it difficult to breathe in or to breathe, inhale or exhale. And you can increase the intensity of it by twisting it. So you like just train yourself to like breathe stronger. Because the main thing is it's a respiratory virus, so it affects your lungs. So I had to sleep on my stomach, the yeah. whole week, which I hate on this air mattress isolated in the office. And you know, air mattresses are horrible on your hips. And y'all know my hips. I got my mama's hips. And them things was all over the place. Very uncomfortable. Laying on my felt, To hear, are all of your um, inhalers like a different carnival food flavor? Like you got funnel cake and what a <laughs> apple. And you just, ah, funnel cake. <laughs> Man, I did not want to give that to you, but that was funny. I didn't either. It <laughs> yeah. crept in. That it was crept. As soon as she started saying the flavor, so I was like, I got oh, to. Oh, man. I had to that do was, it. Mm -mm. That was good, man. Hot dog. Oh, let me get my hot dog inhaler. That would be this one. Much better. Much <laughs> better. This is this is real slushy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Same yeah, back right. I don't now, say that, I, I believe it. I got the Johnson and Johnson shot, which is just the one shot in the morning on a Sunday. By six p.m., I thought I saw Johnson and Johnson. I was asleep. It was two old white men that popped up. I said, I thought I was about to just slip into a coma, honey. I I couldn't imagine having that for multiple days. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was. It was it was scary. The, the scariest part was the was the breathing part. That's why I didn't want to I didn't want to put it out there and tell anybody. I didn't want the influx of texts and messages. Yeah. Because I could not talk. Like I just I just couldn't talk, man. My mom was scared. It's the scariest I've ever seen. My mom. She trying to find flights to come out here. I'm like, and do what? You mm. can't come in the room. Catch COVID. <laughs> yeah. Right. Like just be there. I'll let you, I'll text you every morning. I'm straight. And we'll go from there, but it's, it was like it ain't nothing you could do if you come out here, mom. Just, just, right. just hit me on the on the phone. Did you did you actually rest? Because I feel like you were still trying yeah. to work even with COVID. No, I mean I was working okay, from good. the from the air mattress, and I was sitting at the desk, but I wasn't talking. I wasn't. I would I would work for like an hour, and I lay down for like two three hours, right. and I get up and work for an hour, and then lay down for the. And I would go downstairs because the family like when I would go downstairs, they would go to their rooms. They would leave the uh, patio door open for me. So I would go on the patio and I would stretch and get some sunlight. So like, <laughs> Why they treat you like a house pet? Like, it's all like, let them go out and get some air on a patio. I didn't want I didn't want to expose them. So I had them go. No, I know. <laughs> That's good. But uh -huh. we, we still did things as a family, though. Like, I sat out on the patio and our TV swivel. So they turned it toward the patio and they were sitting on the couch with their mask on. I'm on the patio, the outside, and we watched the movie together. Uh, so we still like kind of interacted, but it was like, you know, whenever I was about to come in, they would leave and they were like, nah, they was chill with it. But I was like, nah, get out. Like, I don't want to expose y'all. So I had to get in on them for a little bit. But what if like they, what if, what if Farron like doctored your results? Cause her and Kendall just didn't want to be around you this week. Hilarious. No way they can do that. But that was a horrible thing. Go do. ahead and laugh at that to hear because you know good and well. You'd be like, wait a minute, what if they did do that? Enjoys okay. time with me, unlike your family. <laughs> <laughs> Matt be like, man, mama here again, bro. He's a toddler. He's a toddler. He know, he know, he know a good time, and he knows when you're home. That's it's a big difference. So don't do that to me, Matt, baby. Matt, no, 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 no. You say that. <laughs> Uh, but listen, man, this is a good place for us to jump right into the today's first topic, man. Uh, we're going to do just that right after this. Listen, fellas, your hair and skin are unique, but finding the men's personal care products that work for you can be like searching for a needle in a haystack, okay? With Hawthorne, all you have to do is take a short quiz to look feel, and smell your absolute best. Now, for those that don't know, Hawthorne is a premium grooming brand that tailors your personal care routine to your unique profile. First of all, you start with the quiz, okay? They might ask you things like, what type of person are you? Where do you like to go? When you go out, is it bars, lounge, clubs? When you go there, uh, uh, what do you drink? Are you a beer person, a wine person, a cocktail person? Do you drink me? They take all of those answers and compile and make a unique profile specifically for you. At the end of the quiz, I got an essentials bundle, all right, with all the products tailored to my body type and my lifestyle. The products I got, I got the uh, the body wash, I got the, the conditioner, the shampoo, and I got a couple candles, okay? Because, you know, I, I, I like my house to smell good. 
Hawthorne takes all the risk out of shopping for personal care by giving you free shipping on all your orders and returns. If you don't like your products, they'll even retailer them based on your feedback. And with high quality self-care products tailored specifically to your needs with from Hawthorne, looking your best has never been easier. Okay, now take Hawthorne's quiz today and get started on your personal self-care routine by going to Hawthorne. Dot co and use the promo code squad s q u a d d to get 10% off your first purchase that's h a w t h o r n e dot co use the promo code squad hawthorne dot co promo code squad and get 10% off your first purchase first topic of the day we have what's worse moving into a haunted house versus moving into a racist neighborhood ain't that the same thing Sorry. Ain't that is a- <laughs> <laughs> you gonna be calling on the ancestors either way. <laughs> Before we answer yep. that, I want to take the real quick moment to introduce our guest for today. We have Jasmine W. You may have seen her going viral on TikTok constantly, uh, popping on Instagram. You see the hair and the skin flourishing. That's what she do. She be able to get flourishing. You feel me? Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and answer this bad boy. You know what I'm saying? Me? Me first? No, anybody. Anybody could jump oh, in. I was about to say, uh, maybe. Why you didn't introduce Josh, though? Yeah. Why you right. act like Josh I'm sorry, I'm sorry Meg. I'm sorry, Meg. You didn't even oh. have to do it like that. You're like, oh, to here, you forgot Josh. You are, you're always so accusatory with your tone, Meg. You don't have to do that. I just got over COVID. My life was spared. All right, I was laid out on the cross. And you come in with that negative energy. Yeah, you you do the devil's work. The... You're a, you an agent for chaos. You don't never don't, come don't you even do that. Who don't do that? Who helped you this whole week? Don't do that. Exactly. I, who was calling to check on you? You and my mom. <laughs> right. Also, ladies and gentlemen, we have the number one shooter in the building. You already know. Ladies call them Zaddy Guns. Uh, we got Josh Guns in the building. Bam, bam. Hey, l- the ladies be on Josh, bro. Like, y'all think I'm kidding when I say that? Y'all go to the comments, they be like, oh, Zaddy here. Zaddy, Zaddy on this episode. When he came on Zoom with the homies, oh, everything was Josh. Josh. Wait, Josh, would you do a dating show? No. Why? I like my dating life private. I don't, I don't, I don't, I mean, I, bring in a lot of people from my business with my business like with a lot of content that we do i just i don't need everything on blast but you know one thing about a dating show is you find the person and then when y'all start dating that's private the dating show is about helping you find the person mm. unless he don't want everyone to know who he dating mm. Mm. maybe that's what it is Josh mm. don't care Josh, when we was on tour josh was a thought he was out here don't with do this don't, don't start this narrative no, I'm Sweats. I'm like, I, I get it. Gray sweats. While we traveling, Josh, it makes <laughs> sense. We have to show. Do him like that. Josh, Josh is wholesome. Josh got on the gray sweats and he taking pictures like this. He taking pictures like this. Bro, I don't even own gray sweats. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> don't do Josh like that. He is. Ho- Josh is so wholesome. I feel like he should be on Married at First Sight. Like that's how wholesome he is. No, I don't need Kevin List reviewing my my it's entire. Like- with, no, with Marcus and Angel. I don't need that on the review show. They already do it that. They already do that. So you might as well just let them do it on an episode. Don't let the smooth taste fool you. Josh is not like that. Josh, Kev, Kev say he'll be right back. Yeah. Um, right. Yeah, he's, Josh, he's Josh right. ain't like that. Don't 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 let don't let don't let Josh trick you, man. He he be out here. He out here. He be out here. Josh, you you remember we kicked it in uh what were we at? Yo, are we talking about haunted houses or not? What are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Let's what, talk what about that. Josh, where we kicked it hard. Was that, uh, I think it was Nashville. Wasn't it Nashville? What do we do in Nashville? We went to the little bars. It was like on that little strip of bars, and then we walked up to that one barcade. I think Trevor was with us for a minute. Was that when... Barcade? Was that was the barcade the, the one that was like right next to the comedy club? Mm-mm. This one was uh. Um, yeah, that was Kansas City. Yeah, that was Kansas City. Now this one was uh. I'm pretty sure it was Nashville. Yeah. Nashville was uh. I remember the club. Went to the clubs. There was like a whole strip of clubs, and then we walked. I was up talking about the comedy like club. Roundabout. 
Hold on. <laughs> it was a little roundabout, and then we went to the barcade. Okay. Yeah, John. No, like John. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. No, I because I I remember from the comedy club. Mm-hmm. That's when uh, Jason had that that like gospel karaoke night, right? Nah, that, that was, was also Chicago. in Nashville. No, nah, no, nah, we did karaoke in Vegas and we did karaoke oh. in Chicago. It's all good, Josh. I know it's just a blur. GNTs, am I right? <laughs> oh my am I god! Right? All his cities blending together. He don't remember nothing. We, we did twenty eighteen. 19 Woo. both years we were outside oh yeah i don't even remember what what my what home looked like during those years yeah yeah we're there. gone like what four days a week josh was out there playing drake every city we went to he'd be like oh, oh toronto God. texas you said what now toronto was a good time toronto was toronto a was a good time Okay, well, if y'all not gonna fill us in on what happened, stay at where everybody gonna stay. That's what I was trying to circle back to this whole time. Sorry, Meg. Y'all not gonna tell us details that you don't need to share the story. Okay, that's all. That's great. We just partied all night. We ate good. We we went to. Okay, that don't sound like a story. Uh, That sounds boring. And clearly, there was more to the story. Meg, you don't know what good time is. Shut up. Yes, I do. You so why don't, you, why don't you tell us then? Like, oh, they kicked it. You'd be like, so what else? You'd be like, Shut Tell up, us man. the story then, since it was so you, fun. Man. All right, so what are you saying, Jazz? Where are you staying, Jazz? Uh, you know what? I'm going to probably, damn, this is hard. I'm, you know, I'm going to probably stay in a haunted house because everything fake. Everything like, what? Everything is fake. You know, mm-hmm. you know everything psychologically is nothing is real. Oh, no, no. I'm talking about a, ha- a house that's really haunted. Like, there are ghosts. Oh, you're not talking about a play haunted house. No, like, about like, like a carnival. No, Jasmine. Like a ghost is in there? Like, yeah, what yeah, kind yeah, of ghost? Ghosts or spirits or, yeah. You, you, yeah. I mean, is it haunted like the ghost gonna try to have sex with me, or is it just haunted like they gonna be like popping out in the corner? Like, it, it, there's levels to this. I've, the heard, ghost gonna... I've only heard one instance where the ghost was trying to have sex with you. Like, there's oh. just, there was just that was just on. Oh, well, yeah, what what about? Hold on. There's context to this. <laughs> I thought this was <laughs> hypothetical. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why she was lost to sex too. instead of like trying to run me out the house, trying to kill the kids. Are these ghosts trying to smash? Or are they just like stroking it while I'm changing clothes? Wait a whoa, minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> What's happening? Children on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> I still probably kind of say the haunted house because I'm really not scared of ghosts like that. I'm going to try to be like, how can we be friends? Or, I don't know. I, I'd rather do... I, Racist neighborhoods give me high blood pressure, so. <laughs> yeah, this is a hard one. Yeah. I feel like those are, uh, I don't know. I feel like I've lived in enough racist neighborhoods. I know how to navigate them now. But Haunted House, ah, ghosts. I don't even watch scary movies anymore. I be closing my eyes in a whole movie. So I'm going to have to close my eyes and walk around the house <laughs> if it's haunted. And that's not going to work. All right. All right. What about you, Josh? Um, I stay prayed up, so I'd probably go haunted house. <laughs> to be honest with you, I pray every night, and I know that scares ghosts away. I think if I pray out loud, not just in the oh the oh yeah, because because the racists don't care about God. You right? Mm. <laughs> racists be pretending they care about God. Right. They think they think they doing the Lord's work by running you out the neighborhood. It'd be like, fam, <laughs> we got the same God. Why would He bless me to get here and then take it from me? Come on now, that don't even make sense on Jesus' part. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't working double time. Now you gotta find me somewhere else to stay. Come on, fam. <laughs> Come on, fam. I, I told people stop praying. That's another thing. I didn't want. I didn't want a whole lot of people in my inbox talking about I'm praying for you because I feel like I caught it right out the hood. Nigga told me I'm gonna pray for you, folk. And then I feel like I caught COVID. I was like, I don't want you niggas praying for me no more. Something, something. I told you to care. You got it in Bakersfield, man. It was either Bakersfield or Atlanta. No, nah, definitely one Bakersfield. Of those. It, don't, it don't exist, exist in Atlanta. So many places in such a short period of time. You were wilding for a week and a half. You weren't even vaxxed up. It wasn't even a week up. and a half, Josh. It was four days. It was Thursday to Monday. 
I got to what day were you in Bakersfield? Like, that was terrible to hear. Yeah, imagine you had too many ailments. Imagine how many people you gave it to. But that's right. the thing. Oh. Here's the thing, what Jasmine. Is- I didn't start seeing symptoms until Sunday night, and I was in uh, uh, Salt Lake City at that time. All the people around in Salt Lake City. All of them have tested negative and they've gone twice and they sent me their results. All of them are negative. So I have Okay, but that means you got it on like a Friday because usually it takes a couple of days to show up it's in like your six system days and you can to pass it to show positive. While before it shows up to here, mm. which means it was two days, at least two days in there that you was around here just throwing the COVID around. And you're most you're most contagious when you're asymptomatic. So when you didn't have no symptoms, you was there, you were partying, your G's and T's was flowing, everything. <laughs> I wasn't partying, though, You wasn't out here was, running man. around just spreading your COVID on everybody. I wasn't running around, man. I did my show. I went back to my hotel. I wasn't running through the city. With you my like, <laughs> breathing, breathing all that air on them. Jasmine, on what are you talking about? Did you check everybody on the plane? Do they got it? No, no, man. I did not check everybody on the plane. <laughs> What did you fly? Was there a middle seat? I, you know what? I had looked at the the COVID numbers this weekend, and they were spiking, and it was because of you. <laughs> There's still like seventy thousand a day, and that's definitely because it's here. Yeah, I heard well, LA has the lowest it. rates in the in the country now. Who does? California, I heard, has the lowest rates in the country right now. That's good. We were up there for a long time. Though. Oh, we were winning. We were up for we were a, the league in triple doubles that week. We never fully opened back. Like the South was like, man, shut up, COVID. They we open. Really close. It never, yeah. Florida was like, man, shut up. We outside. The WrestleMania was y'all seen Pat and them? The WrestleMania was a regular, it was a regular event. It, it looked like a Beyonce Pat. concert. Hey, this nigga Pat. Cam. Wow. This nigga Cam told Pat. <laughs> Don't say it. Uh-oh. That nigga said, he said Pat was down there throwing it back on there because he said Pat was down there squirting. <laughs> Oh my God! Don't do Pat like that. Pat's not here to defend himself. <laughs> you don't need to Pat be here be to defend smart. himself. Poor Pat. Pat got flew out, and then y'all want to talk about him. <laughs> Man, you told him to make sure he take his own condoms. What are you talking about? I wanted him to be I mean, safe. Oh, you know that's, that's a fair out. request for the boys, though, Josh. She said it's for oh the boys. Oh my God! <laughs> I didn't specify. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bag so underhanded. You you are you are a hot mess. She's a no. real piece of work. A whole piece of work. Shut up, Kevin. Where did you go for five hours? It don't take that long to re-snap your bra. Where did you go? <laughs> I was talking on the phone to my wife, something your boyfriend can never say. I don't have a boyfriend having fiance. Oh my god. Oh, got you. If you must know, I had a conference call with Papa John's. Everything is back on track. (laughs) Oh, you back with the Papa, huh? You back? Man, low key, Papa ain't been hitting, man. I need a little racism in my sauce. If y'all got to do what y'all got to do, get that sauce back right. Because it ain't ever since. They said he's six days clean. (laughs) When he was out here trying to defend himself, I was like, yo, Papa, you was making it way worse. That man Every said, time I you- ain't said the N word in nine months, <laughs> sir. Ow. He said, My team Ooh. been working with me for 20 months, and you still struggling? How many, <laughs> how many times are like, you saying this? On the days of the calendar, <laughs> it's, in, it's, my- it's in his wall like a prison cell. He's like, <laughs> You know, the offices have the how many days since an, uh, an accident? <laughs> he keeps going to it like, Dang. Zero days since last N-word infringement. <laughs> oh my gosh, dog, no, that's so like, stupid. My, my husband loved Papa John's. I, I had to, I had to wean him off of it when the racist stuff happened. I said, Nah, we ain't eating that no more. But why do y'all like Papa John's? That's Papa, I think I low key smacking. think it's the the garlic butter is probably the number one reason. Yeah, and the sauce is kind of sweet. The the, the yeah. their sauce is a little on the sweeter side. You shouldn't have sweet pizza. You know what? Where are you staying at, bro? You staying in the racist neighborhood or you staying in a haunted house? Racist neighborhood. Wait, I can't do, do no now? ghosts. Do you live I there can, now? I can only do the holy ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only ghost I do. I can't. I don't think my race, my neighborhood is racist now. My last neighborhood was for sure racist, but. The only, but we the only on... person racist in Kev's neighborhood is the, the gate attendant, and he's black. 
<laughs> That's my dog. <laughs> He just waited me through. He be giving the black people a hard time. I ain't gonna. Yeah, hold you. he come out there. He see me. He be like, "Oh, more niggas, huh? Where you niggas going to?" I'm like, "Sir, you got on a whole uniform. I'm sure you can't talk to me like that. I'm sure you can't talk to me like that. Shut up, nigga. What house? I was like Frederick's residence. Oh, I want to see the niggas. Big surprise. I was like. You got the nerve to be talking to me like this in a Corolla with, with three hubcaps. <laughs> Don't do that. Together. He's he's doing his job, man. No, he ain't. He ain't got to do it like that. But here got that new Mustang, and he started looking I down know, on people. Man. No, What's no. His car looks like a suspect. Not him. His car. A suspect. Car like it's a you don't even get the T on suspect. I said that was the CK on the end, Kim. Suspect. Suspect. <laughs> I'm going to go with the... uh. I guess racist neighborhood too. I feel like we've been dealing with that all our lives. So shit, it ain't gonna make no difference. Either your house or your school is in a racist neighborhood, but you're gonna deal with that shit some way or another. So I'm just go with that. So I go racist uh, neighborhood. Jasmine, you got- I say haunted house. Haunted house, Meg. Racist neighborhood. Kev. Racist neighborhood. And Joshy. I said haunted house, man. Okay, well it looks like the neighborhood's got it, man. Uh, we're gonna move on to this next topic. Right after this. Right after this. Listen, if you're looking for that perfect gift and you're tired of doing the regular things, you're tired of doing gift cards, you're tired of doing things that people are just going to take back because you didn't really put a whole lot of effort into giving the gift, I want to tell you about Paint Your Life. I mean, this company is amazing. You get a professional hand-painted portrait created from any photo at a truly affordable price. Now, let me tell you something. You might be thinking, well, to here, I want to get this photo, but all my people aren't in the same photo or, you know, my, my such and such has passed away. That's okay. They can take multiple photos and put multiple people in the same portrait. Did you hear me? You don't have to just use one. You can get anybody from any photos with an S put in this portrait. You get to choose from a team of world-class artists and work with them until every detail is perfect. The user-friendly platform lets you order a custom-made hand-painted portrait in less than five minutes. It's a quick and easy process and you get a hand-painted portrait in about three weeks. You heard right, in about three weeks. Hand-painted, professional portrait. Hang it up. This is a talk piece in your house now. You send any picture of yourself, your children, your family, a special place, a cherished pet, and combine pictures, like I said, if you want to. And you're going to get this, and now you have something that you can cherish, or your family member, or your spouse, your significant other, whoever can cherish forever. This is truly priceless. One of a kind, if you will. Perfect gift for birthdays, anniversaries, special holidays, wedding gifts. It does not matter. You cannot go wrong with Paint Your Life. I love the photo that Farron and I had made. Well, I had made for her. This was one of our anniversary gifts, and she absolutely loves it. Every time people come over, there's always a talk point. Oh, where did you get that? Oh, you don't know about Paint Your Life? <laughs> Let me tell you a little something. Let me tell you a little something. You need to get on this. Now, at PaintYourLife.com, there's no risk. If you don't love the final painting, your money is refunded, guaranteed. And right now is a limited time offer. You can get 20% off your painting. You heard right. That's right. 20% off and free shipping. To get the special offer, text the word CAST, C-A-S-T to 64,000. That's CAST, C-A-S-T to 64,000. Again, CAST to 64,000. Paint your life. Celebrate the moments that matter most. Terms apply, available at paintyourlife.com slash terms. Second topic of the day, we have what's worse? <laughs> black licorice versus circus peanuts. Did you say what's yeah. worst? No, I did not. You won't, you won't do it. It sounded like you said it. It sounded you like you said what's worse. You won't worst. do it a third time. <laughs> you first, you third first time, isn't this the worst thing? Right now. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> I will vote for everybody for the next two topics. I keep playing with me. I pull it what, do, uh, what do circus peanuts, what are they supposed to taste like? Right. Because they like don't, peanuts. whatever they are supposed to taste like, they don't. Yeah. What do you They're mean? Like, they just taste like peanuts, right? No? No, they taste like, I don't I actually can't even describe what they you taste like. You can't describe like. It's weird. It's like a jello. Uh, wait, wait, it's, it's like unsalted. That's what it is. They taste like unsalted peanuts, and we're so used to salted peanuts. No, you know, like, like any type of peanuts we eat, whether it's peanut butter or like peanuts in the like the the jar or whatever, they all have a little salt to them. 
No, circus peanuts make, you have to Google them to know what they are because you're not going to know what they are until you Google them. They're not real peanuts. Wait, are y'all talking about the ones that's in the shell? The no, gummy ones. the orange, the orange oh, candy, yeah. Meg, that's the, like the gummy. Puffed. It kind of has the, the consistency of, I don't know, maybe taffy a little bit. Yeah, look look it up on your phone real quick, man. Go ahead. Yeah, they're, they're... Okay, let me see. Honestly, I don't even remember what those taste like. I blocked it, it out of like, my mouth. Like, have you ever had squashies <gasps> from uh Squashies? Have I you ever had that? Squashies. They're like if you didn't have, if you didn't flavor squashies or like mm -hmm. Starburst or something. Oh, no. They're mar They're the worst. They're they marshmallows? Like... They're like if you imagine biting into a mattress foam, y'all know yes. it's <laughs> That's exactly what they taste like. Nasty. Mm -hmm. Okay, I know. Okay, so the the marshmallow, the orange marshmallowy yeah. ones. Okay, yeah. I know what those yeah. taste like. You're right. They don't taste like anything. Those don't taste like anything. Black black licorice tastes bad though. Yeah, it does. Black, black licorice, licorice is such good. a strong. And it doesn't smell good. Nothing, nothing about it. Well, I don't is... understand why they still make it. Who is buying black licorice? Serial killers. They do it. They <laughs> eat it before they go kill somebody. Every time. If you look at all of the documentaries, they show it in there. It's just gross. Uh, I don't understand I don't know. why it's still being made. And who is making it? It's a very small group of people that really like that. It's like the black jelly bean. You know what's also gross? The the what is it the popcorn flavored jelly belly jelly belly? oh my god no, that's fire it. that is good no megan it is good megan that's good mm -mm. he's never gonna set a date if you keep talking like this <laughs> <laughs> how you know i'm not already married kev <laughs> i don't know that that ring is amazing though i ain't gonna hold you all jokes it, aside that ring is oh, popping we not gonna we not gonna glaze over that like that wasn't an amazing joke. That was just that was just perfect timing right there. No. He's never gonna go. set a date if you keep talking like that. <laughs> he was in the other room like July second. Wait, what? Popcorn jelly beans. All right. August it is. <laughs> 2021. Papa Giles was like, this nigga, what? <laughs> that was an amazing callback to him. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, oh better and gritty is better niggas. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I feel like men, it's so easy for men to make jokes about how somebody not going to marry a woman because y'all be the ones asking uh -oh. if women be like, oh, okay, but if somebody had to ask you, who would ask you? Uh, you? I never would get married if somebody Nobody had to ask right me. Mind. Nobody if, if Melissa had to ask me, I'd be Meg. sitting there like Meg right now. <laughs> oh my no, God. you wouldn't have even gotten this far because she would not no, have asked. I'm telling me, you, okay. Jasmine, Jasmine is correct. If our society deemed that that women propose to men, I would not be married. No, you wouldn't. You wouldn't There's no way. Married. No, no, it's a lot of women out there that like Camrys. Kev, you're safe. Women would propose <laughs> to you because you're safe as fuck. You're nah. safe. They're good for you. What about being safe? I got the blicky. What about being safe? Get your safe ass up. You don't get your no five star crash rated approved ass. Up. <laughs> no, he like a ninety eight Taurus at best. At Wait, best. What are we wow. talking about? Are we talking Your about build right now? We're talking about. <laughs> we're talking about what? Your build. That's what I felt like it was switching over from something you were saying to to an install when Meg took over. It was a different. She had a different goal in mind. <laughs> she went to a world, big boxing bulky goal. <laughs> that Taurus ninety eight specifically that oh, year. That Taurus, they just rolled that out and it was like, man, huh. they did numbers with that Taurus though. They did. That Who's Taurus a, did numbers. Who has been <laughs> that as and much the Pontiac Sunfire. The <laughs> Them shits was around for a minute. They sold a lot of those. There's a lot of cars people make fun of, but they don't. It'll never affect them numbers. Nissan Altima. Oh, that Altima. car gonna sell. Yeah. The, the, when the Neon first came out, oh, you oh my god, not the Neon. But Dodge the Neon. neon. Uh, up until that point, it was just the bug. The bug was like, yeah, I got the market comp. And then that that Neon came out, and it was like shit. But Melissa, mom had a Neon. That's she true. thought she had changed the game. Boy, y'all ain't see the neon is gold. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like all the black men bought all of the Chrysler 300. That's oh, my. You know who stopped that? 
it was Cat Williams' joke. You really feel like a phantom until you pull up next to one. You'd be like, I don't even want to be on this street no more. Man. That black, the Chrysler 300 did numbers in the black old nigga community. Man. He was that like, part, yes. It came with uh, three bottles of Crown Royal. You it. <laughs> Hilarious. You could get a Crown Royal uh, air freshener and everything. That, that Six part. of the deacons at my church had one at the same time. <laughs> my daddy had one. <laughs> All black niggas. Do y'all remember when Sean Sean John did a uh, a navigator? They had a Sean John yep. of the navigator. Yeah. Oh, I remember Eddie man. Bauer edition expedition <laughs> was a big thing for a minute. Eddie Bauer expedition. expedition. What happened to Eddie Bauer? I feel, I ain't heard nothing. Oh, he's, still out. he's still he's still putting people in ridiculous looking camping shoes and shit. And... What is was he? It, it was camping. Was it like REI stuff? Yeah, he's a golfer, didn't he? It was like what? Isn't he a golfer? Oh, I don't know. I just know he did. They did like outdoor equipment. Mm-hmm. I had some of the doc shoes. I had the Eddie Bauer doc shoes. I ain't gonna hold you. I had them bad boys. A Let me. Polos. Eddie Bauer is a golfer, you guys. He's a famous, but you guys only know him for um, trucks. The clothes. The clothes. I didn't the know club. he was a golfer. I didn't know he was a golfer. I didn't know and where Eddie Bauer in, came from. The only world. people in Texas would probably know that, so I'm not surprised that Jasmine knows that if it's true. You from Texas, Jasmine? Yeah. What part? I'm from Dallas. Ah, well, Dallas adjacent. Don't do that. I'm from Dallas <laughs> County. Do not eat. Tell them. Dallas County is like L.A. County. That's like saying, yeah, I'm from L.A., but you grew up in Pasadena your whole life. You're not, okay? You're not. It's the same thing. That's well, Pasadena like, don't count as L.A.? It's, it's like L.A. County, but like Pasadena mm-hmm. had their own gangs. You say L.A. when you grew up in L.A. So if you live in the valley, you can't say you grew up in LA. You say I'm, I'm from LA. I grew up in the valley. You say that it's like the caveat. It's like yeah, but well, guess what? Different cities have their own language. I'm from Dallas. Okay, when you're from Dallas County, you can say you're from Dallas. You might be from Garland, Mesquite. You might be from Rutland. You might be from right. Pleasant Grove. They have their own neighborhood. Oh, Cliff. That, That's where Precious from, and it's still Dallas. She's right. To hear you don't know you ain't the governor of cities, huh? I don't. Okay. I, just, I just, I just, I'm an agent for chaos. I just wanted to mess with her. Oh, uh, I was like, why are we listening no to you anyway? Because he's a council member in East St. Louis, and he the only one on the council. <laughs> that means all member. my votes pass, my nigga. <laughs> okay, and that's exactly why the city is trash. Okay, because you don't know nothing about no government. <laughs> why you say that like that? You don't know nothing about no government. <laughs> <laughs> what you think to hear which one is that one that's a red slushy inhaler <laughs> it's it's the cherry he just, coke inhaled, the cherry he just, coke. He just inhaled lowry's like yeah you, you weren't here when she said i showed her all the inhalers and she said each one of my inhalers tastes like different carnival food What happened to our relationship? I can't even remember when we had a a, a friendly relationship. We don't have good conversation. Like, as soon as <laughs> like if two people could be engaged in a real conversation, and the third person will ask a question just to just shoot a joke. They will. Yeah, That's what happens sincere. all the time. That's why I don't trust y'all. <laughs> I learned it from y'all. You were no, lying. I man. came you in with love. Like I it. initially started with love, and Kev and Tony was like, "All right, nigga, we get it. You love people. You are a liar. Oh my god. You are Gosh. a liar." Gosh. Tell the truth. When we were on tour, and I'm like, hey, man, I just want y'all to know I love y'all. We're having a great time. Kev and Tony would be like, all right, man, we get it with the buttery. It's so oh, man. That, even, that don't even sound like something I'll say. You lying piece of... Okay. I be hugging to here. You be like, don't yeah. hug me. I didn't know my dad. I was in a <laughs> the, fire. The first tour, that's how it was. The second one is when you would just out of nowhere, we'd be, it'd be a random time. You're like, man, I love y'all for real. I'm having a great time. And we thought you'd just be trolling. So we'd be like, man, so here, shut up. Just shut <laughs> I, up. I had never had friends I traveled with before. I was trying to be sincere. Y'all just always shot me down. So I was like, you know what? Baggage tags for all you niggas. That's the one <laughs> thing I'm not looking forward to traveling with you again. Low key to here, I was really considering not bringing you again, just cause I was like, I don't want to deal with it. He's great on stage. He's an amazing host, amazing feature, but the baggage tags. 
I'll mm-hmm. get somebody else. Your boy. <laughs> See what I'm talking about? Why do you oh, just right, have these? Why are you saving them? I got he a, went, I got that's the main reason he went on that uh, little four weekend and got the vid, just to get it's, them doggone baggage time. It was worth it. I went, I went to LAX and just hung out for an hour while people <laughs> took them off their bags. <laughs> hey, man, can I have your bags tag? That's what she was doing? Baggage claim? And I got a, I got for a dollar. I'm going hide, I'm a hide celery in your in your luggage. I ain't gonna eat it. You can't make me have it. <laughs> and it smell bad. Hold on. Why are you saving the baggage tags? Oh, Jasmine, it's a whole thing. Somewhere along the way, Tahir thought it was funny that he would get the baggage tags when we would get out, you know, from baggage claim, fold them up, and then hide them in our luggage, shoes, cars. So when you're like unpacking your backpack after you get back home and you go to take your headphones and charge them you'll find a baggage tag in there he's been doing this for three years the joke been over for three (laughs) years and he literally the during the pandemic when we weren't even traveling he still he put a a baggage tag in the visor of my car my wife drove it it fell out hit her gave her a concussion she hasn't recovered he attacked a black woman trying to hit me (laughs) he attacked my wife with violence and there's just no reason for it. He'd be throwing them like ninja stars, just <laughs> bah, bah. They are lying, partly. But yes, I kept it going even during the pandemic. But you know what? You don't even, it sounds like when they're home unpacking, you don't know if they found it, if they've discovered that, it. That's the beauty of it, Jess. It could be three months later. They look at the date on the baggage tag, and it's three months later, and they'd be like, how? When did he do that? I put it in pants pockets. I do Jasmine. The the stuff I do on tour. One time, yeah. Josh. Oh Josh, my low key. God. Hold on to here. Let me tell her how dumb he is. One time, and then I'll let you tell that story because it's a great one. <laughs> I wear contacts almost all the time, but I always travel with a backup pair of glasses just in case I lose my contacts and I'm in a city and they don't have no things. So that that didn't happen for the tour forever. So I end up getting LASIK surgery. Okay. I'm throwing the glasses away. This is a year and a half from when he did this. And I'm like, there's baggage tags in there to here. I hit him. He was like, finally, I knew that one would take you a long time to get to. <laughs> I was like, you, the, we, we put him on our story, which gives him the fuel and tag him on our story. And it like re-energizes him. But honestly, even if you didn't, I haven't done it. There's a couple of times he got me and I didn't even do it. And I felt a disturbance in the force, and I knew he knew that I found a baggage tag. Kevin was I found sleeping, one like, and then he was like, "Last <laughs> week, in my when I was going to Hawaii and packing my backpack, I found one. I was like, I'm not gonna give you the justification. I'm not gonna give you the joy, but I know he knows that eventually I found that bag tag. But please, to hear, tell her what you did to Tony and Josh. So Tony and Josh were talking shit. One of the trips we had taken, right, and uh, they had got their room, and I hadn't got my room. Yeah, but I needed to iron for the show. So, you know, they were like, yo, you go to our room and iron. So I go in As a friend, room. offering <laughs> what's mine is yours. Go ahead. They went to go get food, but they were talking shit first. And you, you can't talk shit to me like that because I'm going to get you back. So uh, after I finished ironing my clothes, I took all of their belongings out of their suitcase and put it in the other person's suitcase. I didn't just throw it in there. Like I folded stuff back and put the shoes in there neatly and then zipped it back up. I put the little strap thing on there to hold it in place. I'm meticulous with it. Cause this is how niggas get caught when they, they just rush. <clears throat> I, I, I take my time. I took my shoes off. I was comfortable when I did this shit. You know what I'm saying? I, I wanted them to not know anything had been disturbed. But when they came back, oh, it was glorious. I wasn't in the room, but they made a video about it. And it was magnificent. I ain't gonna hold you. I I admired that one. I was that, like, that the was fact elite. that he folded them back to where they were like, hold on, the like the twinkle of recognition, like this is not my draws. <laughs> hold on, does anybody not? I think that this is psychotic. It's, no, yes. Jasmine, I, I we, we've been trying to say this. I imagine him being alone, smelling y'all draws, like. <laughs> Now, 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 why, now, why, why would you go that far? I'm right? certain like he to took a... You put no, the bag in the bag and you got his underwear in your hand and you're like... <laughs> and that uh, is weird. The, the essence of Joshua. <laughs> yes. Jasmine, I was looking because I had some extra baggage tags and now I'm just going to go ahead and put your name on those. <laughs> just know. Listen, hey, next hey, time, hey, next hey, time hey, I see you, 
You ain't touching my thongs. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make sure. I'm going to come with a little lock on mine. <laughs> It ain't got to be your luggage, Jasmine. It'll be inside your car waiting for you in the to cup hear, holder. Like, hey, what you finna drink? Jasmine, to hear his, his, his due diligence is what, like, makes you be like, just let it happen. Like, he went in the trash. We threw, like, we would grab all the baggage tags and throw them in the trash. He will go back in the trash and take them out Here's just to make theme. sure that he had baggage yeah. tags. He was taking other people's baggage tags from the thing. So at first he got us because he was like, I'll, I'll grab the luggage, guys. We're like, oh, thanks. <laughs> and we didn't notice that little stupid smirk. And the first thing he did was clear the baggage tag. We were like, man, look at this guy, man. He's all right. And he was, it was unprovoked. He just did that unprovoked. We didn't, nobody made him do that. Mm -mm. That's crazy. He smelled your draws for sure, Josh. I know he did. <laughs> for a fact. For a I fact. Found, I found red <laughs> beard hairs all over my face. <laughs> <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> Disgusting. Black licorice, uh, uh, circus peanut. Where you going? I like black Wait, what do we say? We're saying which one is worse? Yes. Black licorice. Black licorice. Kev, you're going to be first to feel it. I truly enjoy y'all company. I really do. <laughs> Listen, remember the one time. <laughs> Aaron, we had a road manager. He had took off his shirt and set it down. <laughs> I turned the shirt sleeves inside out and taped the baggage tags to the inside of the sleeve and then turned it back side right. So he goes to put on the jacket. <laughs> Terrible. He's just a villain, man. He's a villain whose goal is to annoy you. He don't want to take it. over the city. Just, he just oh wants to be goodness. mildly. He just wants you to be like, oh, if you can do that to hear is one. It's never really annoying. It's just like, I thought I had 11 fries. Nine. <laughs> <laughs> it's like. Minor inconveniences. Like that's it. I, I, I just want minor inconveniences. That's, that's it. <laughs> um, yeah. What are we going with? Uh, worse. Worse, right? Yes. Black licorice is worse. Black licorice for me too. I agree. Black licorice. I'd say black licorice because I don't even remember what ourselves. What? Circus peanuts. Nothing wrong with black. Nothing. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna sit up there and go with that. That taste is horrible and it does not come out of your mouth easily. I'm gonna go with black licorice. What I said. It's so potent. Oh, strong. Well, it looks like y'all yeah, remember the little <laughs> sniffable markers too that had like the scents, like they smelled like different, um, like food. Yeah, and the black ones always smell like black licorice. Ugh, Ugh. I using a black marker because of that. Terry would actually point. snack on those though. Good point, nerd. Uh, yeah. we're gonna move on to this last and final topic right after this. Hey, what's up, guys? I want to let you know that this episode is sponsored by Blue Chew, fellas. It has been a hell of a year. And personally, I feel like I've aged 12 years in the last 12 months. And if you're like me, you may be feeling your age a little bit more than you're used to, especially in the bedroom, okay? And it's time to snap out of that funk. Spring is here and it's about time to get sprung with Blue Chew. Now, for those that don't know, Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but in a chewable form and at a fraction of the cost. Blue Chew's tablets help men achieve harder and stronger erections and combat all forms of ED. Now, Blue Chew is an online prescription service, so no visits to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in line at the pharmacy. And... It ships right to your door in a discreet package. You don't even have to leave the house for it. The process is simple. You sign up at BlueChew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive a prescription within days. And the best part, the very best part, is that it's all done online, okay? BlueChew's licensed medical providers work with you to find the right ingredient and strength for your prescription. Listen, if you don't like swallowing pills, perfect. No problems here. Blue Chew offers tablets. That's right. These tablets are chewable. <laughs> That's me chewing the Blue Chew. About to get ready for action. Blue Chew's tablets are made in the USA and they prepare and ship direct. So it's cheaper than going to a pharmacy. 
So, if you could benefit from a little extra confidence when it's time to perform, visit BlueChew.com for more details and important safety information. And I have a special deal for our listeners out there. Try Blue Chew for free when you use our promo code SQUAD, S-Q-U-A-D-D, at checkout and just pay $5 for shipping. You heard right, just $5 for shipping. That's BlueChew.com. Use the promo code SQUAD to receive your first month for free. We thank Blue Chew for sponsoring this podcast, and we thank you guys for checking out Blue Chew. Last topic of the day, we have what's the most important at the movies? Seats versus snacks. Did you say worst? I said, you keep <laughs> doing that. <laughs> We're not going to do that again. That was funny. That was a great callback. You had me thinking like, wait, what did I say? Shut up. This is an interesting one because of, um, you know how Fandango, you can choose your seats at most theaters now? Well, I really yeah. only go to theaters where you can choose your seats. And me and my family go to the same theater most of the time. We pick the exact same seats. And it'd be like, we got a little corner tucked off. And if them seats is gone, we got to see it at a different time. It's Do you hide thing. licorice in there? So next time you go there, you just reach down? <laughs> uh, I can watch a movie without snacks. I don't think I'd enjoy a movie if I was sitting in the front and my neck was tilted back. I don't think I could think about anything else. That. The size of your body suggests otherwise. <laughs> The way she put it, Mm-mm. not like no. Nope. She was so Mm-mm. polite with it. She was like, she could have said, "Your fat ass, no, you need some snacks." She was like, "The size of your body suggests to me." I know, and that, the way she led, she's like, "I don't believe that." Okay, <laughs> he basically said, "I object." Let me tell you what, Meg. Lying on the stand, sustained. I, I protect <laughs> black women, Meg. You're amazing. That's a good joke. Thank you. Permission to be hostile with the witness you're out there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kev, you're my favorite. Oh. Oh. I was going to say, I don't, I bring my own snacks. So I, the seat is the most important. Okay. I make sure I bring a big bag with all my favorite snacks, sometimes sushi in there. It'd be Indian food in there, whatever. Will you? I got a whole entree you sh- oh to watch my movies meg was the person who used to heat up fish in the office so of course she absolutely she was sushi and indian Man. food what is everybody knows that? you're not supposed to warm up fish in a in a group so I was setting whole fish i was over here being a pescatarian trying to save my life you ain't supposed to bring fish that's the thing <laughs> As i'm a pescatarian what i'm supposed to eat for lunch popcorn yes. shrimp from popeyes you could have just had a salad or some soup. You didn't have well, to. Every day I got to eat a salad. I wasn't going to eat a salad every single day. Sometimes That's I want to eat my fish that I cooked the night before. Man, you could have stepped out the office to go get some food. Nobody told you to be fiscally responsible. Okay. That fish was... isn't cheap, though. Yeah, exactly. I'm talking about bringing, it, being, bringing it from home versus going out to get it is what I'm talking about. That's the fiscally responsible. Part. I don't, I look, I didn't, I didn't say nothing about other people's food that was stinky and that was offensive to me, especially when I was pregnant in the office. I ain't say nothing about y'all little nasty food, but well, guess what? You go raw. Shut up. You can't blame us for you choosing to go raw. Hilarious. <laughs> What's wrong with that? The Lord said, be fruitful and multiply. And I did. After you married, Meg, don't try to use the Bible to your advantage. Okay, okay. okay. before I, shut up to hear you was a teenage father. Oh, I, I, I ain't trying to hide it under the gaze of the Bible. You what are you talking about? I was I didn't try to hide it either. I was out here. I was clapping cheeks for show for show. Oh God, don't say it like that. Yuck. <laughs> I'll tell you, you was like 10. Stop. Ugh. Yeah, imagine the the image of Tahir having sex just ruined my appetite. <laughs> it's like two buffaloes just sweating. <laughs> but he's both the buffalo. <laughs> I'm both buffaloes. You make if I said something about you, yeah, he do got big <laughs> wildebeest energy. But he got big wildebeest hips. <laughs> just shut up, <laughs> you virgin. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a virgin. Boners off a holding hand. Shut your young ass up. <laughs> ah, ah, hey man, keep that narrative alive. I'm all right. <laughs> ah, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> First base champion over here, man. <laughs> Josh. Hey, bro, you gotta get on base. You just shut up. <laughs> Wait, what was the question? 
I said, not boners from holding hands. Imagine what's going to make them have an orgasm, child, a kiss, or a, a leg rub. Like, Woo, he'll lose leg his rub. Mind. He'll lose <laughs> his mind if she plays her hand on his knee. He will. <laughs> Good, wholesome, clean, fun. Good job, Joshy. Be squirting all over the place. Oh my God! Wow, <laughs> what happened to here? I, I, it just got darker and darker. To here knows yeah. that line. I see it, and I'm like, "Fuck that line." <laughs> <laughs> what was your original question. Oh, <laughs> movies. Yeah, seats and snacks. What's more important? Um, the, uh, the, the snacks, cause I can't even focus if I'm not eating something delicious. So I don't care where I'm sitting, to be honest, but if I don't have no popcorn and a little candy and a little nacho situation with jalapenos, oh, I wait, 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 but Jasmine, what if it's like, you got your tickets late and the only seats available was the very first row? I've sat in the first row before, honey. Rosa and you Parks can watch it? You watch the whole movie like that? <laughs> yes. I'm serious. No, I try, y'all. One time that happened to me, I was like, hey, "How bad can it be?" I'll just go ahead and sit in front, y'all. I'm talking about five minutes like this. I was like, "This is this is a crime. No one should ever have to watch a movie yeah. like this." I actually think it's a little disrespectful that they even place seats that close in the first place. But I definitely yep. have sat in the front row before. Yeah. Do, <sighs> do you, Jasmine? Do you finish your snacks early, or do do you save them or savor them throughout the movie? You know, I try to savor them throughout the movie because when I finish them, I'm I'm sleepy now. You know, <laughs> I didn't catch the end, so I try, that's why I have to get a lot to last me through. So when I finish one, I head to the sweets. You know what I mean? I have to space it. Man, I don't. I ain't gonna hold y'all. You can probably tell from my body. So there, Meg. Them things ain't making it through the previews. I'm talking about cheeseburger and the, the theater by my house. They got sliders and nachos and stuff. The hand pizza. I'd be like, man, what? I ain't even in the right movie. I just came here for lunch, low key. <laughs> but them things don't make. By the time the movie is starting, them my shoes are off and I'm hey, I'm tucked listen, in. Once they start getting like, once they got that real menu in there. It was like, oh, it was oh, like, man. bro, I get it. Like, this is great. The chicken tenders, the burgers, uh, the French fries, all of that is great. The pizza, but it just, it tripled the cost of the concession stand. If you was always yeah. spending 25, 30 at the concession stand, just give over the hundred. Just, just Have you been to Sinopolis, the like luxury one where they have like, uh, like drinks and milkshakes yeah. and, and, and fish tacos? Or I pick. Or I pick. Oh man, forget Or uh, Alamo Draft House. Man, I think it was what they were twenty seven dollars a ticket. Yep, they yeah. sure were. It's, and then you got to pay for the food. Then you got to mm -hmm. pay for the food. I enjoy that experience. So I like the Me theaters too. with the big with the big seat, big food. You can put your, you know. But it's weird to eat some of those foods in the like real dark though. Some stuff is not like you need a little bit of light. You mean in, in the movie eating spaghetti is just like okay now we need to cross the line. <laughs> oh, you getting pasta? What? <laughs> you getting I'm Alfredo? Not. You in here eating lasagna, sir? This is not an Olive Garden. <laughs> I brought in, I brought in the whole burger like <laughs> into the theater though from like, like In and Out. Mm -hmm. You smuggled an what, In and Out burger. What is the in? difference between buying that? Because I like to go to the the different movie theaters that have like a full menu bar, like all that stuff. So what is the difference with me bringing chicken wings as opposed to buying them from there? That's like what's the difference between. <laughs> Uh, some, some analogy. And before a lot of hey, places, I, I love hey, kettle corn. Yeah. A lot of his brain was like, "Man, fuck you." He was like, <laughs> "I'm talking about that analogy." Kevin, like, analogy. Kevin hey, analogy was quick. Kev was like, "There's a setup." I don't, I don't know what to say though. <laughs> the analogy you ran and jumped out the window in my mind. I was like, something about clothes. I was like, that's like going to H and M with clothes on. To buy clothes, no. Wait, you have to have clothes on to wait. What? No, that's not the same at all. And then I realized I was having that conversation and I wasn't talking. <laughs> okay, Kevin. I'm sorry. Oh, anyway, Meg's friend, right there. Like, I'm just saying some of you know what, and I learned this because we were not we we're not rich growing up. So it was like either you bring your own snacks from home or you're not getting no snacks when we get to the movie theater. So I had to learn how to line my pockets well with home snacks or stuff we got from the gas station. But you don't have to do that no more, Meg. 
But but now I like it because now I can bring the stuff that I actually want because what a lot of places don't have kettle corn okay. and I love kettle corn. So I just have to bring my own bag of kettle corn because I'm not trying to eat regular popcorn. You don't that's, feel that's bad about breaking the law? Who, who gonna check me, boo? Man, this is wrong with us as a people. And then they be like, if, if they like, let me check your bags, which they don't even do, which they should, because people can walk in there with guns, right? They don't be checking their bags, but if they did, I would be like, what, kettle corn and what? If y'all had this here, I wouldn't have brought it. You are not saying that. You would have been like, oh my gosh, my I son put that, that in there. Listen, y'all don't know Meg's <laughs> level of pride and refusal to admit her being wrong. I was in the car with Meg. We were coming from a shoot. This is the trap kitchen. And you know, in LA, you're not supposed to break the double lines to get in the HOV lane. Here. Meg got in that joint and smooth sailed over there. I was like, Meg, just wait. It's coming up right here. She was like, boy, hang on time to wait. <laughs> right? Soon as we got on, bleep, 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 right? I pulled this over immediately. <laughs> Boulder's like a god. He was like, you know why I pulled you over? Yeah, because I broke that line. He's like, yeah, you know how dangerous that is? She was like, I can imagine. <laughs> but <laughs> she was like, but I wasn't speeding. I didn't endanger anybody. He's like, you broke the law. Whose law, though? I was like, Megan, stop. Talk. You really did this, Meg? Meg was so did. And th this is at the height of, like, this is fresh off of a couple of shootings. So oh, I'm no. recording, but I got the other hand placed on the dashboard, I'm like, I'm just, I'm just doing this, sir. I'm just doing. Was, this. I was not that bad to hear. You gonna sit up you here and lie? It wasn't internet. that bad. You gonna lie on Beyonce's internet? <laughs> I'm not gonna sit here. I didn't. It was Beyonce's not that internet bad. Internet is always funny to me. <laughs> what makes Megan, me laugh? Yes, you did. Megan, was, Megan had the energy of like, Jimmy, just give me the ticket so I can go. That was her energy the whole time. It, it wasn't was that, that disrespectful, but it was like, hey, I did what I did. So she was, looking you know. up, she was like, oh, it's 500. She's like, it's just 500. I'm going to pay this or I'm going to pay a lawyer. So I'm going to have it moved to a non moving. They got a white like, woman inside of her. I was just like, <laughs> you talk to the cops like white people. Like, I know you. And not talk to him like that. I would have been dead. Dead. It, it, was, it was not that disrespectful, but I was like, hey, I, I get it. I get it. So, yeah. I've done that before. I got pulled over for stuff that I'm like, ah, you got me. Just go ahead and write it up. Cause I'm I'm you caught me red-handed. Nothing to say. But I did try to um fight it in court though. <laughs> did you win? And then, and, then, and then and uh they were like, okay, fine. They like did the appeal or whatever. And then I missed the court date and I was like, dang, I gotta Oh my god. <laughs> Hey, you just wasted everybody's time. Hey, <laughs> the doggone thing. It was a waste of court resources and tax dollars. Just and now they don't, they, they they don't get the court fees. So they definitely, if you didn't show up, you definitely get hit with the court fees. I got it. Yep. Oh, but I had no. to pay like 700. I was like, this that's, is what that's what you get. <laughs> that's what you get. That's what you get. Oh, LA is, don't play about that stuff, man. They, I went, yeah. I used to be able to get tickets thrown out in Washington all the time. I came to LA, all they offer is a payment plan. You can pay it all now or you can break it up. Ain't no conversation about not paying it. I was right. like, well, right. okay, payment plan it is. Yep. That was back in the day when I had to do payment plans. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Let's put it to a vote. Seats or snacks? Wait, what's more important? Yes, Megan, it's always what's more important. Well, you no, said we were having a lot of questions. <laughs> you kept saying what's worst <laughs> with the T. First. No, that was on another one. So See, Jasmine up. remembers too. You shut up, Josh. Jasmine, don't you start. We're on a good page. We got a good thing going, okay? Which right worst? <laughs> <laughs> so look. First. Oh, I Jasmine is, she'd fit right in smoothly. You fit against so many bad How we didn't know about know you it. before TikTok, Jasmine? Before the. The videos, why we didn't know you've been having a whole career. Man. Jasmine didn't used to come out. She ain't really come out on the streets like that. Yes, I did. Jasmine, don't you sit up here and lie on Beyonce's internet. <laughs> <laughs> She's out. The first time I met you, I was out. Yeah. Jasmine been doing the whole standard for like 15 years. <laughs> I ain't gonna hold you. The pandemic introduced me to a lot more black talent than I ever knew mm -hmm. before ever. I ain't, I ain't grateful for it, but I'm thankful for that part. Mm. <laughs> and niggas are hilarious. We we need we need more. Yes. Yeah. We need I've seen everybody keep your distance. 
most of the people are amazing. Yeah. yeah, there's a couple people, but for the most part, I'd be like, bro, you just literally yeah. so many people that could headline and rock for a, a night. Like, there's literally probably 40 comics that I've seen that I didn't know that I never saw live before. Bro, I had I knew Dustin before, but I had never really seen a stand up because we work different circuits. His last set at Keep Your Distance, bro, solid. First of all, he roasted the hell out of me. Which he killed here. Right. The like, way he yeah. took a pause, he said, "You are confident because you're, you're big." Yeah. <laughs> it was that pause just made the joke hit. You're, you're Yo, big. No, what he said, he said, "Can hire me when he doesn't want to pay for Gary Owen." <laughs> <laughs> he said, "My last name is Nickerson. There's never been a more important K in the history. You gotta <laughs> land that." Nickerson. <laughs> Yo, Dustin killed that show, bro. He did Dustin it. just did keep your distance by the time y'all are watching this. She killed. That's what they said on the streets. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I'm just hoping for the best. I'm, I'm going to just put it out there. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so all right let's put it to a vote, y'all. I'm going worse? seats. Wait, what's worse? See, wait, what's the question again? What's more important, man? Worse. <laughs> I don't know what the question is. The snacks, the seats are more important to me. Facts. Seats. Jasmine, I hope you lose all the uh, the product for your nighttime face wash regimen. I hope <laughs> Baby, that product ain't going nowhere. I hope all your body come off. You see all that beauty over there? That's the natural. Night, around between two thirty and three thirty in the morning, I hope all your bonnets slip off. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope all your fresh sets get little wedges in them. I, I hope that next time you go to Walgreens, they run out of your beard dye color because I know <laughs> you look like you be dyeing your beard. How about <laughs> that? <laughs> yeah, yes, you did. <laughs> Whether the number is zero three, Rusty Auburn. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Rusty hey, all, Auburn. Don't Auburn. Like, Meg, don't act like that because you know me and you. We use the same beer color. You shut it up. Okay, that's number one. Number two, Jasmine. That's like you know me though. <laughs> Rusty Auburn is hilarious. It do your your beard does look like rust. <laughs> that was a warrior on there. That's how you know it's not dyed, man. That ain't never changed, bro. That's that is 03 just for me, beard. Yeah. <laughs> That's the conditioner, relax cream. <laughs> Who else we got? What's more I think, important? I think we all said seats, right? Yeah, no? like seats. Okay, seats. Yeah. Season half on this one, man. Uh, thank y'all for watching. It's been another episode of Spotcast Versus, man. I want to thank our special guest, Jasmine W. Make sure you follow her on Instagram and the ticks of the top. Also, we got Joshy Guns, also known to the ladies as Zaddy Guns. Appreciate you pulling up. And then, of course, shout out to the squad, Meg Scoop and Kev on stage, man. We appreciate y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching. We'll see y'all next week on another episode of Squadcast Versus. Peace. Peace. Peace.